Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing how to make a crochet rag rug. For this project, I am using a combination of 5mm 3-ply cotton cord and old garments that I have turned into yarn. And to see some tutorials of how to turn old garments into yarn, please feel free to check out the videos in the card above. Here's a look at a few garments and scrap fabrics that I've had lying around that I've turned into a continuous strand of yarn. I'm also using a 16mm crochet hook for my project to get a bulky crochet look. And this is the perfect project to make with any old garments that you have lying around that are too old and worn out to donate, but this way you're saving them from the landfill and extending their use. To begin the crochet, I will first create a slip knot. And if you need an in-depth tutorial on how to create all of the basic crochet techniques, please feel free to check out my beginner-friendly crochet tutorial in the card above. Then I chain 40, which will make the rug about 36 inches wide, where you can chain whatever you would like the width of your rug to be. So I just put the yarn over my hook and pull through 40 times. Continue with doing this all the way down the row and keep your tension nice and even throughout. And remember not to stress too much about this because this project is a bit shabby chic, so it works if the tension is not perfect and gives it a bit of character and unique boho quality. When you get to the end of that first row, simply chain one as the turning chain, then work 40 single crochets back the other way for your second row. And this is basically the whole sequence for the rug. This pattern is super simple, easy, and a quick way to make the rug. And remember to create the single crochet, simply insert your crochet under the stitch and make sure the V of the stitch is on top of your hook. Yarn over and pull through so that there are two hoops on your hook. Insert it into the stitch and yarn over, pull through both loops. This is how my project looked after eight single crochets, and I'm just going to continue working them until I get to the end of the row. Once at the end of the row, I chain one, turn my work, and work 40 single crochets back the other way. I 
I simply worked three rows with this five millimeter three ply rope before I wanted to switch to another yarn. And to do this, I simply hook that yarn over the hook, then pull it through the loop with the slip stitch. Then I continue with my pattern by chaining one and turning my work, then working 40 single crochets back the other way. And I just continued with the same pattern for the entire time of making the rug, simply working three rows of single crochets, then switching to another color. And I used all kinds of garments from old jeans and dresses to scrap fabrics and really anything that I thought went well with this natural blue, yellow, and green color scheme. And also used a few different colors of five millimeter three ply rope. All in all, it took me about three days to do this project and it's mainly because I have to film and show different angles and create this project. But I'm sure that you could easily create it in an evening or two as it's very quick to make. And of course, depends on how long you want it to be. Mine is about 60 inches long by 36 inches wide. Once the rug was complete, I simply wove in the ends, and to do this, I love using my wide eye tapestry needle. To do so, I pull the end of the cord through the needle and pull that needle through at least four or five stitches. And once it's through, it's pretty secure. Then just trim the ends. And remember to keep your scraps for other scrappy projects as I do share a lot on this channel and will be sharing quite a few very soon. And once I did this to all of the ends, the rug was complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe for more upcycle crafts as I post each week. Thank you for watching and see you next time.